What is a strange and scary story? A woman says she was carjacked in Anderson and driven to Fishers. Our Carlos Diaz is following this story for us this morning. He walks us through how police tracked down that attacker. Carlos, good morning. Good morning, Naomi. Yeah, this is a carjacking that started here in Anderson and ended over 30 miles away. It began at this gas station behind me where you had an elderly woman in the back of her SUV and a man allegedly jumped in the SUV and took off. Now, we're here in Anderson to give you an idea where we're at. We're at 59th Street and State Road 9. In the distance, you can see Interstate 69 past that Waffle House. What happened was police here in Anderson lost contact with that uh, car. So they contacted other police agencies in the area. Thankfully, a Fishers police officer spotted the SUV on I-69. And you can see the result right here with the video from NDOT. You have a lot of police officers and cars surrounding the car. Now, at first, when they approached the car, when police approached this SUV, the alleged carjacker did not want to stop. He kept going. Finally, they stopped him on the Shadeland exit on southbound I-65 around on mile marker 40, that's 30.4 miles away from the gas station that we're at right now. Police found a woman in the car, but it was not immediately clear if she was the car's owner. Detectives did confirm, though, she was not a suspect and she was unharmed. The suspect was taken into custody and returned right here to Madison County. So obviously you have a situation where you have police agencies from Fishers working with a police agency here, of course, in Anderson to bring a woman home safely to her family, and that's a good thing. Julia? All right, glad it ended that way. Carlos, thank you. And this morning,